Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Davies Analysis. This is episode number 15. And in this video, we're going to VOD FNCS Heat 1, NA East. And we're going to VOD all the winners. So it's going to be five games. And it's a pretty long video. This is my stream VOD. We watched all the games live on Twitch. And if you want to follow me on Twitch, you can. It's Davy TV on Twitch. I VOD review on my stream pretty often. So drop a follow if you can. But yeah, let's get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy this VOD review session. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe. Oh. Apparently went to shit. Apparently Cooper got like farmed uh, at the beach. Yeah, I can see that. Just, wait, why did they, they practice Lee Rats? Oh yeah. yeah, for like two hours to get the quickest wow. timing possible. They were in the call with us, practicing for two hours, just doing it. It was not two hours, it was like an hour. Bro, it was long. I think it was two hours. Oh, trust me, you know about the, the length. <clears throat> like, farming only particular things, like, as uh, well. Like, only things that give you a lot. And they're doing it the quickest way. They were a lot slower than they uh, practiced, though. They're gonna make sure that they don't get farmed by uh, Islands of Grands. Yeah, for sure. They gotta figure that out. Um... Like, look right now, like, their timings, they should have already been left. They should be ahead of, uh, Tabs, G, and Qua. Yeah, they actually are really late on this one. Yeah. Compared to what they usually are. But the loot's bro, looking that, decent. That clip, the wind clip was so funny, bro. Yeah. The nanny started twerking. Yeah. Bro, his sure comms are great. I'm throwing it back, I'm throwing it back. Yeah, I'm <laughs> throwing it back. That shit was funny, bro. Right, I'm just 4x for now. I mean, they're just playing the surge on top of the building. They yeah, pulled it. That's what they gotta do. Good sign. I think if they went early, I think if they went. Here. Wait, can you check which team is on Sanctuary Mountain? Yes. Yeah. I assume it's Lawrence, but I'm not sure. It could be a. Uh... Yeah, it's Lawrence. Oh, they get sure. their I first. They I think they could beat Lawrence if they're actually like. The times are good. Yeah, it needs to be really good, though. Oh, can you turn on damage uh, effects? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's on the first. It's on the first page. Uh. Like three from the bottom? Yep. Let's see if Cooper was getting surged like he said he was going to. Wonder why Cooper holds hammer? It's probably the only thing they found. Okay, see, they got double hog now. Alright, they, they pulled a pretty trash zone for their first zone. Okay, let me slow this down, actually. Okay, being patient and not forcing to get in deeper. I think they're just waiting for the Sanctuary team to focus someone else. Yeah. Yeah, they just wait for them to get distracted. Caliper wants a jack. Can we jack Caliper? Yeah, we can get Caliper in here. TS, yes, you have rolls, right? I do not have any rolls. Davey's, uh... He can just watch the stream, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. He's not gonna say anything anyways. Wow. Alright, well, this is a good rotate, though. Yeah. This is a good spot for Surge, potentially, right here. They got an off edge. <clears throat> yeah. It's all that I matters. Really like that. Now they need a whole kids because they're barely low. That was not the best. Yeah, ammo is not the greatest. What is 4x from here? So we're gonna have to get like Shicey on this fighting. I think getting off <laughs> edge here though is really good because they're gonna be in a good spot for uh Ooh. next surge as long as they live here. I need to do a no build challenge. Wait, how was Larson even playing? He never got banned. They couldn't prove that it was like actually mini on his account. Fifteen below. Uh -oh. They're dead here, hundred percent. I mean, okay. <laughs> That's not funny. <clears throat> well, they're in a good spot to get surge. Okay, Nani with the save. Oh, that was and... really good. That was really good patience with how their heals are. This is really good patience. Yeah, they're not really panicking. Okay. All oh, their chugs burned. And yeah, pump to yeah. save the day. Saving his buddy, man. They're probably coordinating that. Probably in the DMs. Yo, pump. Yes. Trade a little. <laughs> For the one time. They're in such a good spot to get surged though now. Because they got an off edge. They have such a good angle on all these like edge teams. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's Cooper's heals? We are feeding other teams some damage. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, they burn so much heals. You have to. You have to. Everyone has to burn heals in these lobbies. Yeah, but if they had surge, they wouldn't. They would have so many heals right now. Oh, nice. that's a good kill for Siphon. He's got a lot of damage. Yeah, they pulled a good zone to hold a bunch of kids, and they got in front of the congestion early. Yeah. And yeah, wow. Shambles, uh... That's a god pull. Look at that zone. Nani's 2 2 4, and Cooper's probably 2 2 4. Okay. They gotta recover for surge, and that's what. Our ammo is really, really bad. Yeah. It's kind of crazy that this is a win right here, and they didn't have height. Oh yeah. Just Little ground goes that. crazy. I mean, their mats is still really good. Their mats are really good, and they're gonna be good on surge. Yeah. What was like, your this oh. lobby? Wow. Because moving surge is not as bad anymore. Moving surge is not nearly as bad anymore. So the fact that they're good for half is really good. Yeah. When does the when does the surge go away on half? Uh, one forty-four. Uh, so you, there's literally you won't have like a forty-man moving ever, right? Yeah, it might be thirty-four. It's a good rotate. Yeah, they're above right now. It's thirty-four. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, so it pops back up on thirty-four? Wait, no, <laughs> never mind. I'm retarded. I'm pretty sure people are taking right now because like they're above and they've been above like as it's almost closed. Oh no no! I thought you said it, like closes at 40, but it closes at 34, right? They've gotten some really That's good zones. He's got no ammo. <clears throat> Playing aside, getting ahead early. Using oh their old builds. I like this. It's a stack lobby, so we're not being greedy with sprinting. A lot of people are gonna die on this rotate. Yeah, and they're staying ahead. Get ahead in this play refresh. Looking back for a second. Uh, this tree is an uh, interesting perspective. Yeah. Okay. A little staggered, so I can just run over this. A little sketch, but. As. Okay, now they're gonna have to drop. And he has 400 metal. Is a pull for them? It's a really good pull if you're Nani. And he's not gonna drop because it pulls up elevation a bit, I think. Pre tarp slow, now they're gonna play back and fight. Cooper looking in a really good direction. <clears throat> did Cooper get that kill? He did. Oh. Gets pumped going for it. He's gonna learn how to edit. And he's gonna take over. I need to heal. Oh, oh they have god mats. They're not god, but they're pretty good mats. I yeah. thought he had cab wood, but... Not gonna lie, I've never heard someone say 200 mats is god mats. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought he had cab wood, but... Uh, <laughs> I thought he had cab wood and 200 metal, but... All right, well, after that refresh, they hit the full tart because they're backside. Nani gonna look for low, maybe, soon? Takes a side, fights the solo, that's smart. I like how they both take a different angle. Yeah, they're really good at that. That was actually really smart because now it's harder for him to get out and live right there. Yeah. Nani recognizes that this is a solo, but he's gonna focus on. Nani has a hundred wood. Up, oh, two hundred fifty wood. Cooper has a hundred wood. The only time they've ever really not been front is that one transition on a uh, second moving. Oh, look at that low ground take. Cuts off that, that kid. Oh, great low ground take. But it's not a, it's it's not a question of logo. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's working. What? So. Zone didn't pull that way, but. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it worked. It kind of opened more down low. Yeah, he he thought it was down. Yeah. I, don't know. I know what he meant to do. Yeah, he thought it's like it like pulled down. He could just play low there. Yeah. I mean, that's just establishing wind condition when you don't have it. Even with what? 200 wood right there? You can yeah. still do it with 200 wood. Doesn't matter, really. He could he could have like established wind condition <laughs> with 100 wood right there, too. Those max on at the bottom of the building. And they're going to get like an easy fucking... Easy like top three here. Yeah, minimum. 
should be a top two since they're a duo. Uh, getting out of this building is gonna be sketch. Getting out of these build this building in this situation is always sketch. It's really easy for a team to just get doubles like ahead. Yeah, they're both looking at the door just in case. Solo walks through. They're fighting above them. Recognize the solo dropped on low. Uh, keep look at the kills. Interesting. Oh, Nani gets killed by Phaso, and then Cooper and with Faso's the win. Five HP. Jeez. But at the end, it was a little disorganized with uh, Nani going up and like feeding like uh, potential like siphon really quickly. Yeah. I away from a... congestion. Th that's what Tree can do. Got that. Yeah, I, I was. This is an interesting like rotation, but I fuck with it. Yeah, I mean, well, let me see. Yeah, I mean, tr Tree like I've I've noticed like from personal experience, <clears throat> when you get a zone like this that pulls hard east and you're landing near Tree, you want to abuse this water. Like yeah. the river, it's it pulls for you and you can like cover so much distance quick. Yeah, there's not really gonna be any teams like rotating that area. Yeah, it's it's great for rotating. So again, another team just playing like off edge. They want to be ahead. Yeah. I think you're gonna see that a lot. You don't want to be like in the congestion when there's no mobility. Yeah. So right now they're just staggering for some surge. They're probably not yeah. the greatest on surge right now. 100. But because they have like. Because of their position, they can easily like get tagged and then wrap down south. Because the only yeah. team really there is Rokane and Dub, so it's not like yeah. Even if they're like next to each other, they're still fine. Or follow the water line. Eh. They want to go. Up so I think they're, I think they're just gonna go. Yeah. To, I think they're just gonna go towards the road. Ooh, I like this. Get ahead and look back even more. It doesn't. Yeah. It's a perfect angle. Uh, if they host trio, sure. Who, who, wait, who won this game? Uh, not in Chucky. Ah, I know. Oh, they're getting fought. Uh, nice, I love zooming through the fight. Yeah, my mouse is not working. There w. Alright, we go back. I mean, it's just kids jumping in for Surge, and they probably play smart. Was English. it a solo? I think it was. Was it a solo? Yeah, it was a solo. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Got a Chucky, Chucky kills him. Yeah. yeah. It was a solo. Yeah, it was, yeah. Nothing crazy. Two shot. Two shot is so good. He had a gold two shot as well. Wow. These are some good shotguns. That's, yeah, I know. That's really the best gun ever, bro. Using the water to cover a lot of... Always want to stay ahead. Yeah. This is really where, like, the scented mindsets, like, kicks in. Uh, not that kind of mindset. Of just, like, you want to keep going, like, insta, like, ahead, 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 you know? Yeah. Not the mindset of signing it, guys. We love BLM here. Can I get some uh, black power fists in the chat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Heard um, me. Now they can get so much surge out of that. Yep, they get a kill. Or a finish. Then a ramp off the other team, pull a great zone. No BLM, but like emotes. It's the, it's the power fist. How do I Yeah, Naves knows. Oh. W Naves. Why did he get timed out? What the? Oh, <laughs> I'll free you, that bus racist. <laughs> 300 above. <clears throat> Again, all. though, the team that won got a really, really good fourth zone. Getting a really good fourth zone is huge in these lives. I don't know how to make them fucking fly. Yeah, that was a really good fourth zone. And this half I feel like getting a good fourth zone is better than getting a good half. Yeah, I agree. That rotate is far, like... Are they not gonna play hide on the zone? Yeah, I'm kinda shocked if they don't. Oh, cause... Bro, I got timed that as well. Oh, That's they're just... just gonna farm more surge and then go in. That's pretty smart. Because their rotate is not difficult whatsoever, so they can do that. Yeah, I the think he's... Goat... He's gonna conserve mats here and just, you know, build a box, right? Oh, nope. Oh, they're gonna play from the side. Yeah. He's not really building too much. Like, he's being like pretty conservative about it. Yeah, he's gonna block off that angle on opposite height. Hold this solo. Height team is that on the opposite height? Did they win this game on height? We're about to find out. They don't. They don't. They don't. They went up from low ground. Wow, oh. that team pulls like the best pull of their life up there. Who's oh. that on height? Who's who's that on height? 
I don't know. We're about to find out. Third person. Third person. The roller and knife. The roller and knifer. Did they call grins today? No. Uh, oh. Yes, I'm pretty sure they didn't. If you would have played it, outside ATS. rotate. Remember? <laughs> oh. I saw that was a good uh bloom fight to win. Now they're ahead, going to a side all the way to the left, staying ahead. You're really saying just like fold like tarping and like getting to a side on uh, first moving. You can do this when like you can stay front low ground first moving if you're on a side like that. I feel like I feel like it's not that big of a deal. I think the bigger takeaway is you're really not seeing the teams that are doing well sprinting as much in first moving to the to, uh, heat supply. Yeah, yeah, you're not seeing a lot of attack sprinting. You're just seeing them stay ahead, you know? I'm burning a little bit of mats. Okay, Nut's gonna probably stay ahead here now. Nice. What? Going through the old builds. He pulls kinda up, I think. Cuts off the that low is. ground team. He's gonna look back to fight it. Probably gonna give it up right there, yeah. I was gonna say, we're stacking it. a bit too much for a, a fight. Yeah. Mats are still pretty decent, not gonna lie. No, it's breaking the bush because he's controller. <laughs> Looking back, I'm sure he's gonna try and get deeper in here though. Or did he already get in deep? Oh, yeah, he got in pretty deep. They're both gonna kill the solo. He goes ahead while Chucky gets the mats. Yeah. Good coordination. Chucky's gonna drop the mats he got. They haven't been like backside zone once this whole game. Like, they're really staying nope. ahead. And they're always on each other. Looking back for a quick second. And fighting together as a duo. Just fundamentals. Yep. Could have killed, but now they gotta get ahead. It was worth it though, because they really didn't have mats, so. Maybe should have armored the top instead of the floor there. I think he didn't realize he was second height. Now it's solo. Wait, no, it's a duo. Everyone's a duo. Oh, wait, no. Rudeos, Rudeos. No, it's a solo now. That guy was knocked. So they're gonna jump in on the solo. They recognize where the solo's at. 2v2. That was really good recognition. They just Very instantly good. jumped on that uh, on that solo. Very good recognition on the solo being down there. Realistically, this game was just all about playing for second when they were in that top three situation. Just kill the solo and just play for second. Yeah. Because like most times we're just gonna lose this two v two. Yeah. We love a little uh low ground win. Just this kid seventy, then drops. Hits a kid thirty. They're doing really good damage yeah, right now yeah. for low ground. Mantle play, 110. Another mantle. Another mantle, 110. Oh. Awareness isn't the greatest there. That is Jack crazy. Jay. And yeah. The mantle yeah, that piece, is crazy. They probably didn't have mats up there if they're getting like done up like that, bro, on a mantle. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they just stayed ahead so well. And played I know. sides. It's all about the fundamentals. Yeah. They, they call them the fundamentals for a reason, chat, because they're so much fun. Okay, can we get a van? It's going to be interesting, though. Um, with how Surge has played, they're going to have a lot less heals than uh, just about every other team. Yeah, that's true. Like, their heals compared to uh, every other team in this lobby is going to be a lot lower. Mm. Every other team is able to hold three heals. Yeah. Also, I just want to check something out. The teams that qualified... Alright, five out of the eleven are uh, grappler teams. This is about what I'd expect. Nick and Nick's playify Muzz, Rocane Dubs, Threats, Macwood, and uh Chim Spade. Okay, copying their metal. Look how late they're rotating. Yeah, they're rotating late. It I mean they have to with the split, it's so uh it's so long to loot, it's such like a long split. The metal takes quite some time. Yeah, it's a really, really rough split. What are their heals? Six minis, one big, and... and... Six minis, six shocks. 
Uh, really good that weapons, is, right? That's rough, rough, rough loot in terms of shield. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Only having one. I, I bet you, if you ask, they'd be willing to trade this blue striker for a gray striker if it gave them three bigs. I guarantee you. Oh yeah. Wide ass split. Good surge. And they're gonna wait for them to rotate and follow. Another sanctuary zone. Wow. What's up, Curly? They're getting held pretty hard by that team. Gonna try and get close to them. He's in refarm. It honestly, did not cost him too many mats. Yeah. He's playing for refarms really well. He has to build. Yeah. He's gonna get out of their vision soon, I think. Oh, he thinks it's not. What's your thoughts on him not getting in deeper? Okay, I was about to say. I think he wanted to wait till they weren't looking because he didn't want them to double spray him. Yeah. Even though he's built so much, he's like, Matt's already that bad. He's actually like refarming. Oh, are they getting key for surge? Yeah, yeah, so Instantly down, so down, so starts down. extending. And giving them a lot of space. It's going to make it harder for this team to kill them with all this space. Oh, him being in the boat is actually really smart. Unless he gets fried, but I actually like that idea. I, I think it's really good because it gets this team lobbied. If other teams can see this, Spade and Chim get like hard lobbied. Yeah. And all the space they created gets destroyed. Yep, Ritual gets fried, so that's when it, his plan backfires. Yeah, I think he and he gets the long. kill, because, yeah. I think maybe if he gets in the boat for a bit and then starts box fighting to open up some space, it's probably way better than just sitting in it. And they're going to kill the solo, I mean. Yeah, I mean, he's still taking. Like, this is just uh, an easy kill. Yeah. I don't think the solo's going to give too though. much, though. Yeah. That's a really, really shambles. This is the first team that really hasn't had a good mid game. Yeah. 5 3 2. He has like the same. Yeah. D does that say 23 below? Oh, uh, it did. Bro. So that's like. Well, that's what late rotating does. It really makes surge really hard. Like, if your loot routes are long and then your rotates are late, surge. After two kills, like. Surge can still be a problem, but get some surge on tail. Well, this is the, this is the hardest surge. This is the 64 down to 54. Right That's here. the hardest surge. Okay. Yeah, this is the hardest surge because you still have people like left over from like the 64 man surge. So there's still like a little under 70 because like a couple people people are like trying to heal it off. So this is like the one where it's like holy shit because like this is 54 people by third zone, you know? Like that's like a a steep steep surge, you know? Yeah. This is by far the hardest surge uh, in the game right now. Because it needs to get to what, 54? Yeah. Yeah. Or 44. It's 44? Yeah, no, no, now, it's, now it's gone over. So, so. It's going to be 44. Now, now th th yeah. this is warning for the next one. Yeah, it's yeah this very, is a warning for the next one. Yeah. Very confusing. I still don't have a good, like, grasp of it. So the I one before this in. was 54, though. Yes. And now this is 44 half and half surge. Yes. Yeah, so this surge is crazy too. The one before is great, the biggest great, stuff. great half zone. Yeah. Wow. And that team's ticking. They just win the bloom fight. Yeah, they won a game. This and game. That duo is gonna die, and then the surge is gonna be gone. Yep. Yeah, but this just shows you like how hard surge can be. If you're landing edge map and you have some far rotates and your loot routes are long, it's gonna be rough. Yeah, Naves and uh, Aaron need to get their timings down tomorrow. Find it, Naves. I think it was like they were routine super, super late every game. Yeah, then that's gonna be a that huge factor sense. on why they're get, dying to surge every game. It's because of how long it takes to rotate out. Yeah. Even though Nani is not an edge team, like. He still made sure to get the quickest loot routes possible because of the new surge as well. Yeah. So. Alright, Max first moving. Do they get ahead early? Naves, if you're getting beat, that means you're going too late. Like, you literally need to fucking practice and have your loot routes down as fast as they can physically be. 
Yep, so we're gonna check to make sure these old builds, no one's in it. And they're gonna grapple at a perfect time, not with Storm on their back. They're gonna get ahead. They've dropped core pretty low, but... I think they're gonna play tarps. I don't think they're gonna play grappler too much after after this. Yeah, they really need surge desperately. I feel like it's uh, a tarp after this. I feel like if they had surge, they would keep tarping, but because they don't, they're gonna like stagger back, get tags, and then grappler. I feel like if they had tags right now, they would not have uh, Spider-Man from low like this. You know? Yeah. Who knows you, though? You think they just stay ahead and play their mats, right? With some good timings. Hang on, real quick. Hey, when you say you're rotating with one minute and 30 seconds left in the thing, do you mean before zone starts closing or after zone starts closing? Oh, God. Because one of those... Oh, wait, a minute like 30 seconds left? Uh, I mean, if that's before zone starts closing, that's like decent timings. I like the armor wall. You're just going to figure out like why South Sleepy is beating you so hard. Mats are not the greatest right now. This is a run and then a grapple, so he doesn't get shot out on elevation, which was really well ex executed. Now they're looking back once they get front with the grapple. Oh my! I think that was Blake that just lit him up like that. They have no mats, it's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so now they're staggered very hard. They get the now he's gonna grapple, it's free grapple. To a really good layer. Armored wall early, because they're on wood. Probably gonna play the building, maybe? Nope, the kids have it. Edits there. Start putting the med miss. Now they gotta try and get ahead. I think they're in, just not deep. Oh, okay, never mind. Now they're in. 100 wood for Chimp, 5 builds for Spade. They got deep in right there, and now they're gonna fight the solo. Now they gotta stay they're ahead. They're aggressive together, both only out pumped at the same time. They're actually not staying ahead right here, which is interesting. Playing for a kill on the solo. They're definitely one of the like lesser fundamentally sound teams. They're just a lot more individually skilled, you know? Yeah, I'm curious how they win this when they just staggered this long. He's gonna play for this. He's gonna play Madness? Like, what is going on? Okay, Spade runs in, zero builds. This is an interesting game. And then he's gonna realize no one's on height, or they're fighting on height. Spade, I don't. Spade gets a kill. Wait, let's watch Spade first, bro, because I don't understand how he lives at this all. This is just pure chaos. So, this is the most fucking shambles, should not work shit I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, should not work. Because they're they staggered so long on low for kills that weren't there. And then Spade's like, okay, I have zero mass. He's just looking for kills. Kills Skittles. Gets builds off that. Kills a knocked body right here. Chugs. And now Chimp is commenting that he is hype because they were fighting on height, so he took it while men missed him. Interesting. Farms the tree instantly. And... Mats aren't that good, heals aren't that good. Chimp should be using a med miss soon, maybe. Nope, he's gonna pressure first and then heal, maybe. This is solo. And now it's just a solo, they're not gonna take a 50 and... So the idea time. of like a height lurk there is like a decent idea. The execution of this in-game was fucking crazy, but it worked, so I don't know. Yeah, I like the idea of a flank dally for a win condition, but... Yeah, so they were first all consistency. They were actually first in consistency over the weeks. Uh, bro, on this uh, on this spot, your constant game looked at. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, Collider is nowhere near as good as it was in uh, no builds now. Because all the coolers have fucking ice cream in them. Oh yeah, coolers got nerfed. In yeah. No really hard. Kill Collider was not that good today, Noble, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. We were okay. leaving with like sticks and stones. Yeah. So we're gonna stay here or we're gonna try and get like somewhere else? What's happening here? Looks like they're staying here for now. Okay. Let's see what users decides to do. They're... They are getting uh, tagged a bunch early on. They have a lot of heals, doesn't matter. 
Oh, good blue fight there. I like them going this way. They have more vision going up here. Realistically, I don't think a lead and uh Lee should be staying there. I think a lead and Glee should have gone and then up they can here? go. Yeah, I don't think a lead the team in front of them. Yeah, they're gonna South? play that. Yeah. I don't I mean, they're not in a good spot. They're just sitting there in a fucking building. If they played that tower, it's not bad. Oh, I like what Skittles is doing here at the bush. Really good. I still don't... I think tower's oh, not yeah. terrible. I still think getting to south side and being, like, off edge is way better. Because you can just, like, farm the kids that just, like, can just on Collider. Yeah. I like the setup, though. I like Skittles in the bush for Surge. And I like users playing this little hill for Surge. And then they pull a great zone. I don't think Skittles is going to get much in that bush anymore. So he should probably oh. just go. Uh, as long as they have enough surge, this is a great zone. If they don't have enough surge, it's not the best. Yeah. I'm trying to bloom fight the bush a bit. Skittles isn't really going to get much out of this. They need a lot more surge, I think. Okay, they're 300 above. I was going to say, I don't think they don't need that. I don't think they need that much more. They're, like, pretty good on surge right now. Alright, let's see our zone pulls. Zone pull is really good, but how are they going to get out of the pathway of uh, Glace? Is Glace going to move or no? Oh, I think they're going to abuse low padding over here maybe while these kids fight. Might. I think they're just going to play tower above them. I don't think they can low pad. I feel like this is going to be like a what is early easy beam on right yeah, side. Yeah, they can't really get there maybe. Actually, yeah, uh, there's a lot of teams on uh, Clyde than I thought. I think they can low pad. Yeah, I think they're trying to work their way to do that. Oh, we got barrels here and a keg. That's great. Love you. So yeah, if you do get tagged going there, there's barrels that wait you, so await you. We so. got no we got no more minis, but hey, we got a lot of splashes. They have plenty of minis. Nine. They're actually just gonna sit here and wait for the zone pull. Or can they go now? Like, they're they still would, on this game. They would rather not go. Oh yeah. Okay. They're say, smarter they're than me. I think they're yeah. just waiting for zone pull. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great zone pull. We've seen every team that. And they got the pad. Yeah, and they got the pad. Every team that has won a game so far, they all are getting nice forts, are they not? Yeah. Getting a lot of surge here. 100 above, no kills. It's really hard to have more surge here. Yeah. I'm going to outlive four people. And they pull half, so they crank up. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Especially because of they're the only person. Wow. Good dinks. Especially because of the, they're the only people in the zone right now. So. Now they're gonna maximize their surge, bro. They're gonna get so much here, I think. Wow, Skittles puts that kid to one on opposite. I'm gonna go up even more and alpha it even more after hitting that beam. He's gonna kill them. I think they're probably getting hit by surge if they're peeking like that, I would hope. Probably, I would also hope. <clears throat> or maybe not. Kills for them, I think. Oh wait, surge is gone, I don't know. Trying to play for that kill, even after pulling, first moving. Wasting so much ammo on this. Yeah. A Ammo's oh, not the it, greatest. He uses it as, as a decent amount. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. I think they're going to give up high and just play pad. Yeah, I they're going to save the mats and, yeah. and maybe land on it late. Oh. Okay, well, at least we know the exact location of where it's at. Yeah, good map awareness, W users. And they're gonna crank up front, right? 100. Yeah, they're gonna crank up front, crisp as far back. Oh. This users oh. are gonna take it as a solo, because crisp and Nev were far back. Skittles are gonna heal up and then come up. Were they with Skittles on con and heat? Yeah, he was boss. High. 
No fine, Chris. We're just trying to hold height. She back backside. Good. Makes sense why they died. Good. All right. Well, no good kill. Them, like infant fucking ammo. Look at his skittles ammo now. Oh yeah, I like the aggression from him on that team. That was weak. Yeah. For that body. It's big skittles, bro. Yeah. Now it's just Fortnite. <sighs> Gonna four x. I mean, all he oh, okay. That was a little bit risky, but they needed the mat, so a risky play there doesn't hurt them if you're gonna try and win this game. I agree, you gotta risk it for the biscuit, you know. That's what fraggers need to do, bro. It's like something like that. I, I bet users probably didn't even tell them to do that, and you just did do it. Do you want your fragger to get more off leash? Okay, I'm just saying. No, I'm oh. saying like. If there's ever a time to get off of a leash, it's right there when you have no mass on height and you need a power play to win this game. Just saying. But that was smart. Okay, this is a little sketch because mats are low. We got Smite and Mini under them. Was that funny, TS? What? <laughs> Did you hear what I said? No. So you got Smite and Mini under them. Ah. Uh. Skittles farming barrels for mass. That's smart. Zero builds. Good thing it pulls the old builds. Smite and Mini have no mass. So they're just gonna kill them. Mini making questionable plays because he's a controller player. Yeah. Wow, users is one HP. They play. Oh, got... That wasn't Larson playing. It's a, oh my bad, I, I miss I misread the name. <laughs> yeah, my be. You know us oh, old timers either. in our 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 site. Yeah. yeah. Okay, users gonna fight when Skittles plays white. So. Why did they both want to heal off? Because he killed the guy and the guy dropped him heal off. Oh, oh I thought. Box the body. Rokane has, oh, a good amount of whites himself, but not enough. Do they call off consistency? Uh, Dubs and Rokane did. Let's go. He has a full med miss. Free fires him getting in, and then there you go. <sighs> Calm Deagle. And they're going to run to what? Well, they're very familiar with the side of the map, but... Okay. Leaving Bugle with terrible mats. Not the greatest heals. They went Bugle? Yeah, right side. Now they're running to gas station. And they're gonna beat Ritual to the gas station. Every time. Because gas is like the last thing you hit on that split. <clears throat> it would have been smart if they camped it, I think. Do Ritual or Chris? If Chris been if I camp the gas station before they go hit it, I feel like that would have been a really good play for Surge and Luke. And that's a really bad. But... So Max dropping full. Aug for Hammer is interesting. Or did he drop it to Chris? But he dropped it to Chris. Chris, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he's just going to try and do his friends like that. Pause, but you know what I mean. Like, There's no third ends in the industry. Like... That's what Drake taught me. <laughs> yeah. And they're gonna get their metal here. This is like scrap extra metal that Tab G and uh, Quad don't need, and it takes quite some time. Okay, I don't. I like how they're leaving it not capped because the zone's literally on their back. And now they're really late, so that's why they're getting oh. tagged up a lot. Zone pulls. Pretty far, not that good for them. And hitting barrels. How mats are not that good. They got a bit a lot. Shield is good though. They recovered on that. This is rough because they're getting held by pump really hard on that mountain. 
These zones are never good for an east zone if it keeps like pulling towards Shifty Mountain. Good, good job winning that balloon fight. It's a good time. I like hugging this hill to try and get away from the mountain's vision, getting closer to them. And now they're ahead of a lot of congestion doing the refarm rotates that they've been doing. I mean, Nebify lost a good amount of mats doing these rotates, but to get out of congestion, it's probably worth to burn those mats. I would agree. You and, love going deep. Yeah, I mean, he can go deep here, so there's nothing wrong with it. He's really, he really got himself out of congestion, even with a mountain team just holding him. So that was really good. They, they needed that. Okay, and now they're going to go instantly. There's no one in front of them. Why wouldn't you? I'm going to pause right here, pop some shield, keep it going. Having that scented mindset early, early, early. And wow, they're going to get in deep. This is a beautiful spot. They're on elevation. They're going to look back and hold kids on the same rotate they just did because they did it first. After rotating zone, like rotating the first, when first zone was closing and they were really late, they really managed to recover so well. They did. And they pull a great fourth zone. This is a common like thing for some game winners and they're gonna hold all these teams that are in congestion because they're not in it gonna kill to be fair with how deep they were i don't think they could have pulled a bad fourth zone even if it pulls max it's, it's such still a good rotation. fourth yeah and they're just racking up the surge because of how early they went like this is really good they just full split mats and these mats are good Two or half pulls. I'm gonna guess it's. Yep, it's a good pull. Do they hold height on the side? I would guess no. Okay, no. If I, it looks like he probably wants to sl slide down to the right. Yep, that's what he does. He waits for the perfect time to do it. And that's what everyone else is going. Now he's gonna look to hold these kids. And they get a great first moving. Wow, that was risky. Um, he goes back in storm for a med miss and almost dies. But he would have chugged if... I feel like he would have gotten chugged. So, it's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to see him stay ahead this whole first moving with these kind of mats. Like, look at those mats. Oh, I think, he, I think he may have went back for mats, too. In zone. Ooh, okay, sprint? I love the sprinting under height. Oh, we're going to flank height. I love that. Unaware of the kid behind him, but it doesn't matter because he doesn't take that much damage. And now he's just going to 90 because he has way better mats than height, right? He's not 90. Oh. Okay. Then... See, did you not see their win reaction clip? Yeah, they're on low. I didn't, but why Why flank height there if you're not going to take it? Uh, I think he just got bitch made. If I'm being real. But you always should like know that bitch. the duo, right? is The fragger is going to be in the back of height, always. Usually, for the most part, he's not front. He doesn't need to be front. So, I feel like Nefi should have better awareness there that there's going to be a fragger in the back. Why is he just flanking it like that? He could have... He could have... I feel like he should have sneaked it instead of just ramping up if he's going to flank height and do that play. Like, he burned so many mounts doing that that was unnecessary. He could have kept running under height. Or, if you're going to do that flank play, be aware of that fragger that's in the back and sneak on him. So... Okay. I like the idea of just, like, doing 90s once you get up there because you have so many mats, but... Just wasn't executed well enough. Oh, oops. No, not jelly. That is not the jelly we're thinking of. I know, it's the superior jelly. Oh. It happens, bro. It's the life cycles of jelly. Okay. First, there was TV jelly, and he got replaced by Jelly Zam. And now Jelly Zam is replaced by Vanish Jelly. <laughs> A little stagger. Burned a lot of mats right here, but now they need to get a kill for that. They do. Now mats are better. 
Another stagger, another attack sprint, cheap tarp. They're in. Armored wall before even getting sprayed. I like it. If you want a team we've really seen consistently run in that game, which I yeah. find interesting. And they're doing it at the right time, which I like. This is interesting right here. Playing your whites when you have good mats still? Um. Okay. Alright, well. They didn't burn too many whites doing that. Okay. Um. I like Chris looking back here at this duo in the bush. He's gonna kill Sphinx. Back in blood. W, W, never fight W, Crisp. Gets really good mats off their bodies and plays whites to get those mats. Utilizing your resources is really good. Especially since they have no mats there. And now they're gonna they take a little for being backside, but yeah, they get a front side though. That's a good time to be backside when you're using yeah, your whites to get mats. And then once you get those mats, you take front side low because no one else has the mats to do so. So it worked. That was W risk though. You see him getting that mecha form? Because that's when I've done that. Okay. And they get a great zone pull. Smite is in mini right above them. Looking to spray one down. They're really griefing this team, which is pretty good to be aggressive on them before they're aggressive they on you. Refresh, that's the only team that can get a refresh on. Yeah, but this team fights them. Oh, good shot by Notify. This yeah, team fights them for low. So hard. Then he goes down. Yeah. Um. Everyone is everyone a solo? Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. So as long as they play right on top of each other, they don't lose this in any world. Did Paper call today? He did. Yeah. They were first off consistency. That was really good uh, mid game. That's good. Never fight is the IGL, yeah. Cooper wants you to drag. Who does? Cooper. Okay.